What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. All of our swimming coverage is sponsored by the Aquatic Capital of America. All of our Wilson Athletics coverage is sponsored by Joel Batonio. And all of our Poly Athletics coverage is sponsored by Juju Smith-Schuster and the Juju Foundation, as well as Jayon Brown and the Playfair Sports Management. Wake up the echoes, history in the making every time Long Beach's Wilson and Polly get together for this annual Mole League swim meet. We're at Wilson on Friday for the festivity with all the noise and rivalry vibes that you could possibly handle. First though, tip of the swimming cap to this facility itself, named for Pete Archer, one of the oldest sports venues in the city, deserves the retirement it's gonna get. New pool hopefully breaking ground this summer, so it could be the last meet here between these rivalries. The names and the times on these record boards, guys, could write a book. So could this be the last lap for the rivalry in here? If so, everybody was making the most of it. Let's dive right in with the 200 medley relay. The best way to judge the balance of a swim team, in my humble opinion. Polly's team of Sophia Brees, Lauren Hong, Maya Guevara, and Belle Puckett took an early lead and never looked back. 154-28, Wilson at 156-92. In the boys' medley relay, it's also the Jackrabbits hopping out in front with the quartet of Lucas Jew, Eric Forzon, Colin Gear, and Reese Hammond. Going to combine for a 137-57 to get Polly's huge points day going early on. We start the individual races with the 200 freestyle. Ladies first, Wilson Sammy Hamilton. Going to be tough to beat in any race this year. She is a multiple event league champ in long, long freestyle races, and she takes that one at 155-62. Boys 200, let's also take a moment to appreciate the crowd here. Parents and students alike, they were into every single race, really no matter the level. Can't really explain how loud it gets inside this building. It kind of hurts your ears at times, but the passion that makes every historical rivalry go, they've got it. Spoiler alert, Wilson only won one race in the boys' side, and it's this one, Wyatt Mitchell, cool and confident, cruising to a victory, 146-01. In the medley relay, up next for 200 yards, all four strokes, not for the faint of heart. Some experienced swimmers in this one, including Wilson's Chelsea Park, but it's Sophia Brees in there taking the top spot to 13-6-1. To the boys, 200 IM, again, a great group of accomplished swimmers led by Colin Gear. A warm-up mishap last week caused him to get stitches under his eye, so he's been working on a kickboard all week. Back at full go, no worse for wear. It's gear 152.55. Don't blink. It is the 50 free splashing up next. Going to speed this thing up so you can see the whole race. Wilson's Catherine OD gets an impressive 25.11. Time to get first place. Big point swing there for the Bruins before the break. Let's fast forward through the 50 free for the boys as well. Seeing the whole race. It's another tight one. Polly's Reese Hammond. Wilson's Colin Holtum battling at lanes three and four. Another great example of these kids pushing each other. It's Hammond 22.98. After the break, it's the 100 butterfly. Polly very strong in this race. It's Ariel Cordova in lane four. And down here, it's Elonia Elobodesis. Gonna be close. Tough to win in lane six in a pool like this, but Elonia gets it done, just like Granger. 105.56. Boys 100 free, a very fast race here early in the season. But he was uh, in a different gear. Colin Gear, inch perfect, 50.03. Let's try a tracking shot for the 100 free on the girls' side. Again, Catherine O.D. is the best in the freestyle sprint. This kid is strong in the water. 54, 20. Boys 100 free deserve to track. It's moons over my Hammond. Reese Hammond takes the 100 with a time of 50-48. From the sprints to the marathon 500 freestyle where Wilson Sammy Hamilton is once again the one to beat. The count with a little help from her friends. Hamilton the league champ in this race and she shows why it is 506-52 on the boys side. Much like Hamilton on the girls side. Polly's Evan Jew is just the guy to beat in the 500. So much patience in this race, not to mention how grueling it is. Jew cruises under five minutes. It's 455.86. Pass it like a relay. 200 freestyle. Wilson has an all-star team of Hamilton, Catherine O'D, Maya O'D, and Vanessa Newton. Some great water polo players in there as well. And they are going to cruise here for the victory once again. Back to the boys' side on that 200. It's Polly's Hammond, Gear, Forzon, Samuel Coe. 
pretty, pretty good. You can see that lead the rabbits have there on the final lap, just sailing home, 131.56. Back in the water for the 100 backstroke. It's gonna be Newton for Paul, Wil for Wilson and Caitlin Konechi for Polly. It's coming down to inches, but Newton discovers the wall first, 105.14. Great race there for Newton. Boys 100, also back. The first race is dominated by Lucas Jew in lane four. It's going to cruise 54, 7, 9. And then the final Indo race of the day is the 100 breaststroke. Again, it's Wilson's Park and Polly's Hong going head to head. It's a great race all around. Hong holds on for the win, 111, 7, 3. Another great race, boys breaststroke, a blistering 100 yards between Co and Forzon from Polly, decided by inches. More big points for the Rabbits either way. Co takes it to lane two. And then finally, the relays, the 400 relays. Wilson's girls on their way to a 92-78 win. Polly boys on their way to sending a message at 104-66. But I'm just going to shut up and let this event speak for itself. Incredible day on campus. Can't wait for the league finals end of April. And for all of your swimming coverage, you keep it right here at the 562.org.